All right, we're cleaning a. We're going to clean some sofas with the Dupre Neat. And there's here they are. Now these have a. These are the type that have cushions that are held on with Velcro. So we're not going to be cleaning the underneath sides or anything. We're just going to clean the surfaces that you can see, the seating surfaces. And they're not really dirty. So. Not they just want them freshened up, which is what we're doing. We're going to, most of it we're going to do with the, uh, it's the flat, it's actually a tool designed for floors, but it works great on flat surfaces like mattresses and Couches. seat cushions and things like that. And that's the pad that comes, there's three pads like that that come with the machine. So we're using that. And since these aren't dirty, we're really just doing what you basically like refreshing up. Giving them a once over. It is cleaning them though. Yeah. And I'll put a, uh, I'll put a link if you look in the video description for uh, Dupre's website. You can go look at all their equipment they sell. The need is the uh, entry level machine. And we've been using these since, uh, oh, it was, I think it was the late 2018. About three years. Yeah. This is our newer one. We bought another one last summer. Because we liked uh, we liked the first one so much, we decided to get another one just so we have a an extra one just in case. And uh, so we've been using it. We're trying to use it quite a bit because it's new. Uh, but we've we never had any kind of mechanical troubles or anything. No, the only thing that happened one time was uh, one time one of them clogged up a little bit, and that was because we hadn't done the vinegar and water treatment uh, as soon as we should have. So uh, there's really nothing to go wrong with these as long as they heat up, they're going to work. There's no pumps to fail or anything like that. They go to 275 degrees and they put out a 50 PSI. And when the little green light comes on on the front, all that means is the boiler came back on. All there is in this is a boiler. And so there's not much to go wrong. If you if you can get steam to come out the end of the hose, it's, 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 uh, it's fine and if it won't put steam out the end of the hose you probably have a clog and the vinegar and water treatment will fix that and I've got a video describing that and it's in the owner's manual I think it's page 13 it tells you how to uh, demineralize the boil the boiler but you can see it's a relatively quick process yeah these are kind of a come, dark come, come with the camera. dark brown it'll I don't get the, too close to go out of focus but no, This cast will be dry in a few seconds. It's dry right now. Yeah, and the customer just said something about it's been dusty in the house, so we're trying basically to help get some dust off the cushions and maybe get some dust mites and things like that. And, but these couches are in pretty good condition. Time to switch sofas. It's that fast. I don't know what, three or four minutes on one couch? Right. And believe me, it's clean and dry. Which one are you going to do next? Well, I'll get this one over here. We've got three or four minutes on each one. I'm solid here. Actually, this one here doesn't need. I'll get this one because that one needs a triangle tool. That one don't. It's real flat where I can use the big tool and hold it. Okay, I'm gonna step by and come out this way. You might want to come over here. I get a little better angle, maybe. So you can see All right. Now these will run about 50 minutes, so close to an hour, on a full tank. And all you have to do if it, if it runs out of steam is just uh, let it cool off for about 10 minutes and then start pulling, the, just start unscrewing the cap on the top and do it nice and slow. And then you can uh, refill the boiler. I'd use hot water to refill it. I wouldn't put cold water in a... Not once it's been heated up. Yeah, once it's been heated up, I'd use hot water. Uh, just out of the tap, as hot as it gets is fine. And then it takes a, almost 10 minutes to heat up, and you're ready to go again. Now, if you have two steamers like we do, uh, then I'll, we can have one going while the other one's heating up. So that's part of the reason we bought a second one. But uh, if you need a steamer that you can... Uh, Basically, just fill up whenever you want, uh, so you can just keep going continuously. 
and look on the Dupre site all, where the link's at and they've got other models and uh, there's ones that you can refill while in use and uh, they've got models to do that they've got models that run at 240 volts if you need something uh, that's going to run at like continuous uh, steaming at full volume full pressure and they keep going anything that's 110 you may have to slow down a little bit to let it build up here and there but uh, they have models that are they've got a model at the top that has a vacuum system in it if you need to be able to uh, uh, pull out you know water and things like that and they have some that have injection models that uh, you can inject chemicals or actually water into the stream if you want to make a superheated water this is the most basic simple unit and it works great we do lots of yeah we do lots of carpets and floors and and upholstery and things like that with it and it's it's a great uh, it's great for that but it's not much not that much to it it's pretty simple to do these cushions dry pretty quickly so that's one nice thing about it you're not getting your furniture soaked you know where you have to wait an hour or two before you can use it again you can pretty much most of the time you can reuse it immediately you can sit down within a few seconds so if you're doing like a waiting room or something like that uh, you really don't have to make people have to stay out of it for a long period of time. Well, see, I just did this couch over here, so. Uh, just try. Yeah. <laughs> there are some permanent stains in here. We don't know what they are, but they won't, they're not coming out. But anyway. Yeah, this is a vapor. At 275 degrees, you have a vapor. It's pretty, it's a very dry steam. And so uh, it doesn't take very long to dry. Some steamers don't go quite that hot and they'll, they'll leave things a little bit damper. And you may want to have to put a fan or something on them to uh, speed that up a little bit. But the hotter they get, the drier they are. Uh, but you do need a little bit of moisture to clean with. It helps when you're cleaning fabrics and textiles, things like that, to have some moisture. So there's steamers that get up in the 300 degree range, but they, they don't work as well. They're too hot. Yeah, they're a little too dry. They're good for cleaning uh, ovens. You know, yeah, hard surfaces and things. They're not good for furniture and carpets and stuff like that. Yeah, but they, they uh, you may have to do something where you like spray some water down with a with a spray bottle, spray a mist of water down on a on a on a uh, fabric, and then hit it with the steam because you need a little bit of moisture it helps it work. Well, we don't recommend it, but you if you want to clean a suede couch with this. It ain't gonna hurt. You just have to be, keep it moving fast. So if you have a 100% suede couch at the house and you don't know how to clean it, this will do it. Yeah. Or if you know customers, you want to do this for people and you don't know how to clean suede, this will do it safely. It will not do well, you can suede. clean almost everything with these, but just keep them moving. Don't don't let it sit in one spot too long. It gets too hot. No, and, and it looks like I'm going super fast, but I'm not. I'm. It's a lot of heat. I'm going fast because I can because there's so much heat. It's super hot. Yeah. It's like running an iron over stuff. So I'll, I'll put a, uh, a link for our a video playlist in the description as well. And that's, that's all of our depraved videos that we've made. So you can see how well these work on carpets and hard floors and uh, other things. I think there's a mattress cleaning or two in there. Uh, so you can clean mattresses. You can use these like if you if you, you can use these on like your uh, If you have a wrinkled shirt or something like that and just let it be on the hanger and you can use this to uh, Steam the wrinkles out and everything so you can come close, come close. Okay, but these are useful for a lot of things Of course, you know how things like this are when you first get them you use them for everything you can think of and then over time you figure out you know what they are really good for and other things where maybe it's just as easy to go and clean it with something else like like your bathroom mirror you may want to clean it with the steamer at first when you first get one then you may just decide later I'll just square a little Windex on there and wipe it with the rag That's and be a, done with it how much time's on the video 942 That's three couches yeah and they didn't care about the backs and no. all that on these so they we to move them out from the wall. They just wanted to do the visible areas and that's what we did all right I'm gonna stop the video here check the video description 
uh, for all the other details. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We're going to try to make some more videos soon. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>